Hello everyone, just walked inside Dollarama and I've noticed these tins. Now they're really popular, so if you're looking for them, there's a variety of them in the kitchen area. Does this pizza cutter work well? It's Martha Stewart, so she typically has some really nice things. They have a lot of brand named items here today, so this is always fun. Especially if you're putting together a gift basket or something like that for a birthday or gift, Christmas gift. This is really nice to find name brand or brand named items here. I have been searching for metal scoops like this forever. These are actually really nice. So there's a variety of sizes. Oneida, which is a brand name. It's T-Fall as well and it looks nice and sturdy. There are a few brands here that I'm not even very familiar with, but they are well known. And then there's even Wilton baking supplies here. Oh, this is new to me. It's a bamboo utensil rest. It actually looks nice. And they have some spoon and lid rests as well. These are awesome because they're glass. Great for the microwave. Oh no, that's not a microwave, it's just a lid cover. They have ones that pop up and they're great for the microwave. I guess you could use that lid cover as well. This time of year, cheesecloth always sells so fast because people make ghosts with it. By the way, I think somebody was looking for these. They're tin on one side and cork on the opposite. Cute. What else could you use this in your craft room? Maybe to put your hot glue gun on? I don't know, would that work? rotating serving board it's actually a nice size you can put a pizza on it and they have the smaller ones for pantry by the way i was looking for some sticks for candy apple making is anyone making candy apples this year this is cute is this a brand i'm not familiar with it it's a nice blue it looks high end there are some wilton things Travel cupcake containers. This is actually great. I love these. Oh, mini muffin pans. You can make like little bite sized breakfast, I guess, bites. I have never seen these before. Be mindful, see, it's dented, so you want to make sure you pick out a good one. Either that or it's a thinner metal cookie sheet. Lots of cleaning supplies. I feel like this is new. It's a wine or, well, I guess like a bottle holder. It's really nice if you're gifting or bringing a hostess a gift just protects them so these are the dollarama brand ones this is nice too actually but the other ones are brand name these are new on the shelf and they have a five dollar type but they're not five dollars so they must have got like a surplus of sorts from somewhere and that they're selling them for less sometimes you'll walk into dollarama and you'll find a ton of great items and then sometimes you won't see very much of like, you know, here's an item that I've paid a lot more for and I really like this because it has the Febreze smell, but now I try to kind of avoid smells and I'm doing things in a more gentle or less chemical, I don't know. Anyways, so I'm trying to be more mindful of the products that I bring into the house, but there are, I still love my Vim. I do love my Vim with bleach to clean my shower tile and stuff like that. So anyways, there's Barkeeper's Friend here. SOS, which I also love to clean my sinks with. Comet. And there's also Dawn. These are actually really nice. They look high-end because of the 
Insert I love these for organizing my die cuts, dies, and stamps. I should share how I do that with, with my things in the craft room. It looks like they're unloading a bunch of new things here, so just a quick overview. Some of the ice molds. Does anyone know if this flows nicely? I actually should grab another one. I have, I think, one made by Trudeau which I bought at home since, but they're like $10 for a bottle. I love these as well, and I use them in my craft room for brushes. How cute is this? Even for like a Halloween staging or a candy corn or caramel apple dipping. Have you tried this lemon cake? It looks really good, but I'm just not sure if it's going to be flavorful. And then they have some mixes in jello, marshmallows. These are new. They're actually really nice in person. So there's a, a clear, clear, and then there's this kind of gray tint. What else could you use these for besides garbage pails? Looks like they have the matching step stool as well. A heads up, this actually works really well. I use it on my stairs and my couches sometimes, especially with bare hair. And a fabric shaver, one of my go-to tools in the laundry room for depilling, clothing, and sometimes even like fabric material like couches, they work really well. So if one of these works better than the other, let us know. And this is actually a fantastic find if you have an ironing board. It's harvest time and canning season, so for those who do canning now, these are mason jars and they're really good. Sometimes they sell the lids and uh, the, I forget, there's two parts to the, to the jar and they sell those pieces here. These are just the sweetest. If you have a tear tray set up, these are not small, like they're not tiny, but they're not too big. So you can put them on the top of the tear. I love these and I think that they would look gorgeous on a fireplace mantle just lit up with one of the LED tea lights would make a really nice spooky theme. I feel like I just traveled in time. I haven't seen this since I was a kid. There's Kool-Aid here, Nest tea, and they're like the giant crystal packs. And lots of individual juice packs. Is this a good value? I love these little Ferrero Rocher box sets for Christmas with a gift card. I think they're perfect, but they keep going up in price, so I'm a little bit hesitant to purchase them. I think I started buying them at $3 a box. It's actually really nice to see the kisses, but specifically Harry Potter themed, which is kind of cute. And these are Skittle individual packs which is awesome. So you don't have to buy a big box of like a whole bunch of other chocolates if you're just looking for the Skittle minis. And this is cute too. It's just a small wand type Harry Potter themed kisses, which it has the, what's the little hat called again? There's a name for it. You're probably all kind of seen the Halloween things, but just to share with you, these little boxes can be really nicely done. I know they're a bit on the smaller scale, but you can uh, put a nice gift card in there and just like a thoughtful little treat along with these. I love them. I bought a pack of canvas bags at Dollar Tree, like the little Halloween. These are adorable for boo baskets. It's got that Spider-Man theme. So if you wanted to do a Spider-Man bucket or these remind me of the Laura Secor bins. Anyways, um, I was saying something and I can't remember. Well, this looks like it glows in the dark. It's really deep. Quick overlook here at some of the... What are you being for Halloween this year? What are some themes out there or costume ideas? I know Beetlejuice is really popular. Oh, these are bloody though. Otherwise, they would have been cute. And uh, Beetlejuice was a recent movie out, so I'm sure that's going to be a popular theme this year. Oh, what else is out there? Oh, squid hat. 
This would be adorable. I did, I made my husband a squid one year. So they have these kits, balloon garland kits, which is kind of nice and practical. A lot less expensive than ordering on Amazon, I think. I haven't seen it at all the stores though. They have this huge banner. Like they really have some great stuff this year as well. New things from last year, that's for sure. I saw this last year. I think it's cute still. Some bigger pieces here mixed in plastic eyeballs with wood beads. So if you want to deconstruct it, you can and, you know, redo it to your liking. This is cool. So I made a really cute mat one year and this would be fun to put it underneath. I just wish I could hear if it's loud or what the sounds are like. Some fun makeup kits for Halloween but what really caught my eye were these oh, like lipsticks. I love anything that's LED or twinkling especially in our neighborhood. I like to give them out to the kids so that everyone can see them walking around in the dark. I've noticed that Dollarama keeps putting out tattoos for different seasons and I always like to look because if there's something I can use in my paper crafting as an overlay like this Happy Halloween, I will. These are actually fun t-shirts. They're just got some words on, uh, some sayings on them. I love this one. Just absolutely cute. This one looks like it's selling the fastest. Amazing decor, things that you would see at Michael's. So I've been on the hunt for this Mickey Mouse coloring book for a few weeks now. Somebody had shared it in the groups and I appreciate that so much. This is such a beautiful coloring book for a Disney or a Mickey Mouse fan. And I love that it's only one sided so you can use markers, all sorts of different mediums. Some things I have not seen at any other Dollarama are these Harry Potter books. It would be cute as a part of a boo basket if you have a Harry Potter lover or fan. They also have some Disney land. Build your own Disneyland. So again, you can find some really nice themed things to put together. They have Harry Potter treats now, which I just shared with you, the chocolate, so that could go with the book. If you have a movie lover or animation lover, Boss Baby, it looks, I don't know exactly, but it looks like how the characters were built in here. <laughs> Cute. So yeah, anyways, there's a bunch of different things right now for different interests. I did want to check but I wanted to share with you this notebook is absolutely gorgeous it's got such nice paper and the outside it's just it's really heavy I mean maybe a little too heavy to put in a, a purse or something but it's really nice for at home and these have a strap Dollar Tree has smaller versions of these at a fraction of the price so just be mindful of that they're not as thick but still if you need a little notebook for your purse and what's here oh yeah this is the big big one i believe this is new really large so if you have a a dorm student or something i love the pink and some of these little accessories Are you ready to go down the Christmas aisle? This store has a ton of Christmas out and I'm just kind of pointing out some of the newer things here because some of the stuff is I think from last year and they just bring it out and put it out right away. So just a quick, quick run through here. I don't know if I'm mentally prepared to even examine Christmas, but I know it's just around the corner. We're now in October already and it comes really really fast 
And if you see something, definitely buy it because if you don't, you know it will be gone the next time you're in. These are adorable. And a few more things here, just decor, candles. Looks like some lights are being put out and large ornaments, but none of the small ornaments have made an appearance yet. Like, I mean, some, yeah, no, they're all pretty much the larger things. And some snow, if you need a big snow spray. I almost forgot to look in this area here, but look how cute these kits are for your tear trays. They're just adorable. It's hard to grab the back one, but, and some of the gorgeous ribbon. I love the booze. Oh, just so cute. I love them. Yeah, so there's just some crafty good things here, and I think it's a wrap for me here at Dollarama, so I'll just say goodbye. I hope you enjoyed walking around with me today, and until next time, everyone, bye for now. Leaves are turning brown. Autumn comes too soon